Good day. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Old West styled wanted poster using Macromedia Fireworks 8. For those of you at NIST school, uh, you can go to the start menu, all programs, find your image software, choose Macromedia Fireworks 8 with the orangey yellow logo. Uh, if you do get a dialog box with an OK, double click the OK to make it work. Now before we start a new file, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go online, Google Images, and what I want you to type in is Wanted Poster Template. You should see it come up in your options. Uh, first result that I've found looks like a good blank template. I'm simply going to right click and copy that. And just like I would with anything else. I now have it available on my clipboard. I click New Fireworks File. It'll automatically make it the correct size for me based on the picture I've copied. And now it's just a matter of right click and paste. Okay, I now have my background in place for this. I'm going to go to the layer at the right and lock it. You should see a little padlock come up beside it. Okay. I've already found a picture of myself to put in here. If you haven't, you should find one now. Pause this video and then carry on. Uh, all you need to do is drag and drop it just like I did there. Uh, you may notice it is much, much oversized for your work. So uh, the easiest way to make sure that we reduce the size and keep the right aspect ratio is to go to the Modify menu, Transform, and choose the numeric transforms. Uh, I'm going to do 20%. You may have to change it and do a different percent. Try it until you get the right size. Now it looks like it's disappeared, but I can tell by the layer menu at the right that it's still there. So I'm going to zoom out. You can do control negative sign for that. And we can see it down below here. Uh, just choose my pointer tool and drag it into place in front of my background. Now once I've done that, I can zoom in again using control plus or the positive sign. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the background uh, behind my head and body there. I'm going to use the magic wand tool, click, you should see a dancing border around uh, the objects and you can play around with this tolerance and sometimes it'll take part of the person sometimes you can see it dances in my face uh, if I go too low I'll actually miss parts of the background so you will need to play around with the tolerance just a little bit to make sure that you get uh, the actual background that you want to cut out and then just press delete on the keyboard and you can see it's disappeared to get rid of the dancing border just click escape I've chosen now the letter tool there, the text tool. I'm going to type in wanted. Uh, not big enough for me, so I'm going to highlight it and down the bottom in my properties, play around and adjust the size and adjust the font. And you can notice it gives you a preview of what the font will look like as you scroll through them. There we go. Okay, next I'm just going to change the color to a slightly faded color to give it that old time look. And then I'll do a similar thing down at the bottom uh, and type in a reward. I don't want the reward to be too much. I don't need people uh, gunning for me. Okay, so now I've got a very simple thing, simple poster ready. I'm going to type in just what I'm wanted for. And it may be difficult to read on your screen but it actually says for extreme awesomeness and obviously for extreme modesty as well. Okay, now that I'm happy with everything that's there, I'm going to lock all the different layers that I don't want to edit, but I do want to edit the picture of me. So I'm going to control plus zoom in, scroll up a little bit, and with my pencil tool in red, I'm just going to draw a little scar on my right cheek there. And 
I'll zoom in a little bit more so we can get a good close-up of my eye and I'll choose the burn tool and what that does is it actually darkens the area you may need to resize it like I just did um, so that it isn't too big of an area when you try to burn your image and you can see as I go along it's starting to look like I have a black eye and we'll go up and around the top of the eye and just fill it in there as well now in that same menu with the burn tool uh, we have a few other tools I'm going to show you another one here and it works just the same as the burn tool um, but it's actually called the dodge tool and it does the opposite of the burn tool it lightens the area of your image so here I'll try and just kind of blend my already uh, hideously pale nose into uh, my face a little more uh, next I'll just resize this and we'll do the smudge tool now I've chosen smudge with a color you can come down here and do no color which you can then see if we do it through the scar kind of turns the scar into a, a rash or bruise on my face uh, the last one I'll show you here is just this blur tool and it does exactly as it claims and blurs the pixels into one another so when we zoom out I look like a fairly tough guy and you can have a large reward of fifty three dollars some other tools that you might want to use brush tool um, eraser tool and they work very similar to most programs that you may have used including Microsoft Paint you've got different shapes that you can add uh, with the shape tool there and down the bottom in your properties uh, fill options you have uh, a range of different colors which you can see here uh, as well as if you come up the top with the little no smoking type sign you can do transparent uh, some other options you have are uh, gradient and you can choose different gradients there and of course uh, you also have different patterns which you can see as, in preview as you scroll on so don't feel limited to the tools that I've shown you here Feel free to experiment and explore uh, the different tools in Fireworks. Happy editing.